Internet. Oh, you couldn't even see what I was doing here. Shout out to Josh Stroud over at the Wolf Pack. Again, for sending me this popper. We've talked about this before, but it's just a sweet little thing. Nice finish. Feels good. Bottle, bottle opener, a little twist top bottle opener, and then whether or not it's intended, this opens the cans. So we'll get that out of the way. We've talked about this before, just have one left, so. So good. Let's get on with the show, shall we? We see a lot of polished bitters here, don't we? Well, you already know what it is, so no use um, playing around or having a little ruse with you. Uh, I will want, I do want to give a shout out to Jonathan Clark over at the Fidget Spot just because I used to have a little um, octopus thing over here on this side and my, my son Oliver um, thought it was cool and wanted to try to get the octopus out of it and wanted to play around with it so it's somewhere in his room I'm not sure where but um, I, he hasn't like destroyed it but he wanted to try to get the octopus out of it so anyway what do we got in front of us look at all these polished spinners so what I was going to say is we won't I won't try to like ruse you or trick you careful 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 Oh, yeah, thought that might happen. A lot of people at home just had a panic attack. How dare you? How dare you? Oh, wait, what was that? Le what? What are you? What? You know what it is, Internet, because you've seen the thumbnail. Well, let's let these two spin, shall we? Put that space right here. We'll just give that a spin. We'll just let those guys go for a bit. What is this? Holy, 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 holy internet. So big, big shout out to Marco Wong. Um, sadly, old average Singaporean, Ben Ko, slice of my life, beat me to the punch. He just uploaded a video like an hour ago. And I was going to try and upload, the, uh, record this during the week. I just didn't quite get the chance. Um, so now I'm doing it on my weekend. So I've had this for about three or four days. But he just put up a video, so if you want to see uh, his take on it, kind of out of the box, go check that out. Uh, but let's take a look at this thing, shall we? So this is the Nautilus Nano, and it is a sweet little deal. So let's get our other Nautilus out here. Um, and let's just talk about these for a minute. So this came in a brushed finish that I put uh, hand polish on, and it's a, it's, a, it's a decent one. Like, if you get it in the right light, you can see the fingerprints, but you can kind of see where I didn't get it perfect. Um, and then this is a brass one that I've polished up a few times after patina and I've used, so it's got some little scratches and stuff like that in it. But this has had one of um, the best finishes, like a factory polished finish. Um, there's something about the finish of this that reminds me of like a hand polished finish. So if we take a look at this guy, this is the mini Oculus, and there's something about a polish on something like this um, that just feels almost more like it's chrome plated or doesn't have, there's a certain feel, it's kind of hard to explain, but when, you know, Fabian, for example, talks about polish feeling cheap, this kind of feels more like a metal faucet, you know, kind of like toilet bowl handle kind of a thing, um, shower head kind of a, a polish, where there's just something about it where it almost feels like more plated. Um, so I don't know how they get the finish, but on this boy, this feels nice and smooth and it feels like a hand polish. So right off the bat, you know that I'm going to be in love with this and it has a great finish and I didn't have to put in any work on it. Um, so that's huge. So right out of the box, just a great presentation of the box too. Um, if you remember my video on this, there's an issue with the buttons that is resolved. So these are... Screw on buttons. No set screw or anything, just a dedicated screw. Um, the buttons themselves have a nice polish in the dish there. Uh, I think these scratches on the surface are mostly from me putting it down and doing table finishes, uh, or table spins and stuff like that. So, but look, you can, can I get it so you can see me? There's the light, there's, there's that's me right there. Oh, look, yeah, we're actually getting some, in 4K, if you're really getting this, you're also probably seeing my dry fingernails, apologize. But you can see sort of like the machining rings on the inside are still there just a little bit. It's much more noticeable in the camera than it is in person. You don't feel it at all. They feel dead smooth. Um, and then we've got a, just a dedicated bearing. Can I bump that? Sort of half intentional. We'll let the Ohana keep spinning, though. Um, dedicated bearing, as you've come to expect from the stuff from China. So this does come from Hong Kong, um, I believe, from, uh, again, Marco Wong sent this out. And, um, yeah, just a great, great, great little spinner. I am kind of feel like I'm going to be all over the place. So let's have a sip of beer, 
And let's start, um, let's weigh it real quick because I actually haven't weighed it. We'll go there and then we'll get some of the exciting stuff, um, you know, for, for you people that are just here for the exciting stuff and might not stick around to the end. So let's weigh it. 73 grams. Let's weigh it compared to the other stainless steel one. 112, 113. Um, so it's a pretty lightweight little guy. Um, but uh, yeah, let's talk design here real quick because I want to compare the biggest thing I want to talk about the designs is like this compared to this. Now, when I first got this and started looking at it, I almost kind of remembered this having more curves than it did. So this does have a flat spot here that curves into a flat plane here. So this actually does maintain some of that. I thought they kind of missed the, missed the mark by having these flat surfaces here. And then, uh, then when I actually got grabbed this, I was like, oh wait, this does have those. So essentially what they've done is they've just taken this guy and they've gone whack, whack, and just like smoosh these ends down. Uh, now a couple things design wise though that they definitely did um, not have on this that they have added here. If you look, these edges are all round here. Look at that polish. Um, so basically the entire thing is rounded except for these little flats here. There isn't a flat plane on it anywhere, which I really like. This does have a flat surface here. So even though it keeps rounding this way, this surface here is flat. And then it has a very little flat spot in the middle. If you look at the way the light reflects right there, see that? So I can actually, you can kind of set this down on top and it gets a little flat and maintains that flat a little bit on the side. And I think here in the middle, it might have the slightest little flat right there, but you can't really feel it. I guess you can feel it, but it's not very obvious, but you can set it on its side like this, which is something you can't do with the Nautilus unless you really balance it and hope nobody farts because even that'll knock it over because it's just all rounded. Um, so it has a couple little flat spots on it that I think for me personally, design wise, aesthetically, I think I would appreciate even more without um, but I just kind of wanted to show you those two things. And then it is, this has that Nautilus stamp, which this doesn't have any marking. The Nautilus stamp I actually really liked. Uh, I don't think it took anything away. I don't know what's involved in stamping this here, if it's done by a machine, and if it's possible to add to this on future runs, or if they'll do any more runs, I'm not sure. Um, but so there you have it. So this is 50 bucks. Um, I don't think that includes shipping. I think when I got one of these shipped to the US, it was 11 bucks. Um, so to the US, you're looking at most 61 bucks, but shipping might even be included. So I would check it out and see. But this is a tiny little guy. It's got a little bit of weight, which is cool. So like having a spinner this small of a form factor, but having a little bit of weight, you know, 75 grams. Like if you guys remember the mini tank, it's about as tall as a mini tank. Look at, look at that, it's about as tall. Now it's significantly thicker. And it's significant, uh, yeah, I think we can say significantly wider, right? But let's let's get into the exciting thing. I said I was going to get into some exciting stuff a minute ago. Actually, three minutes ago, but who's counting? I guess I am, since I knew it was three minutes ago. Um, Nautilus, Nautilus. Um, oh, yeah, and then other design. Um, the buttons, these are the same buttons that came with this one, except for they're not magnetic. So they kind of basically added a bigger dish than what was here. Now, I actually like these buttons. Uh, I was just watching uh, Average Singaporean's video on this, and he mentions how these buttons were a little slippery. Um, on the polished versions, I believe he's got, I think he has both the polished and the satin version, um, or media blasted. I believe the media blasted buttons are much more slippery. I don't have any slip or grip issues with this, um, and they're pretty comfortable, but they're, you know, you definitely don't have, like, the same sort of dish. This is just a great, great button design. Um, it reminds me a lot of the Kong buttons. It's not quite as deep of a dish. The dish isn't quite as deep. And then you've got still the same little ring with sort of like that watch bezel kind of look that they were going for in these. So I think that's enough to say about the designs. Very ergonomic, very comfortable, very smooth, rounded everywhere. So now we're a minute later and we still haven't gotten to the exciting bit. Let's talk. So if you guys remember, I looked at this, was my last video, and I was blown away by the spin time that I got on this. I was like, man, how did I get that spin time on this? Let's look at the size. Look at the size difference here, internet. Now, let's be fair, this does have the weight distributed, distributed, distributed in such a way that it should be good for spin times. You've got the bulk of the mass pushed towards the outside. So what do you think we got in spin time on this out of the box? Oh wait, go ahead and guess. Now I'm having a sip of beer, but I really want you to guess. If you're watching this video, come up with a number, say it out loud, yell it at the TV. Bobby, Polly, and Bryson, if you're watching this, yell it at the TV, yell it out. Um, Anybody else who's watching this, um, shout it out. Um, six minutes and 57 seconds out of the box. What? That's a pretty good spin time, I hear you say. And I agree, it is a really good spin time. 
But you know me, we clean our bearings out. I wanted to check it out, so I cleaned the bearing out. I was getting about 38 seconds on just the bearing. So once I cleaned it out, I got uh, 47 seconds on the, just the bearing. So I'm like, hmm, I wonder how long that'll spin. Guess how long it spins, Internet. Guess how long it spins after it was cleaned. Shout it out, yell at the TV. I'll have another sip. What? Did someone say 10 minutes and 9 seconds? Oh my word, 10 minutes and nine seconds on a tablespin with this. Uh, now I believe it's a stainless steel bearing, I'm 99% sure. Um, I've checked the website ahead of time and I'm um, I'm pretty sure that's what it said. I checked it a couple days ago when I got it and I saw that spin time, I was like, what in the what? Um, so yeah, really good spin time, <laughs> um, pretty ridiculous. I put the arcade bearing that got me that, I think this guy broke over nine minutes. So I took that bearing, put it in here, it got 10 minutes and two seconds. So the bearing that's in here, right on par with the hybrid ceramic that's in here, but it is a stainless steel bearing and it's super smooth. Now I think I might have a little bit of dust in it. We'll talk about that in just a second. But it is a super smooth bearing. So all you folks that like smooth bearings, it reminds me of a lot of like an SBV2 style bearing. Um, just super smooth. Um, not quite one drop smooth. You still, like there's still something there, but I think it's a great bearing for this. I think this particular spinner, I wouldn't want like a hybrid ceramic bearing with a lot of feedback. So did I stop this and start this again? I think I did. Anyway, um, I then took this bearing and put it in the Ohana and I forgot to double check the time before I looked at this video, but went over 17 minutes in the Ohana. So the bearing that comes in here is a champion bearing, um, which is exciting. That's exciting news. We like to see that. Um, so that was uh, uh, that was pretty, pretty brilliant. Uh, and then on a vertical spin, um, the first vertical spin I got, it actually was right around the same, and I gave it another one and got uh, 10 minutes and like 40-something seconds on a vertical spin. So this is a little spin demon. This is a little champion. This thing just goes. What are we at, 12 minutes? Should we just let it ride here while we talk about some other stuff? Yeah, we'll let it ride for a minute. Um, so the container that it comes with, it comes in this little... Nautilus container, which I really dig. Um, it's a pretty resilient, rigid little case, but it's significantly larger than it needs to be in terms of holding just this little spinner, right? Um, but look inside. See all that red fuzz? It comes in one of these, and I haven't had that issue with any any other ones of these before, at least to my knowledge, but this one sheds a lot of this little red stuff, and it might have gotten some in, in the bearing. Um, inside the bag, I can almost like see. Um, inside the bag, it's got like a, that nylon kind of finish, which doesn't shed too much, but it seems like it does still shed a little bit. So I can't really recommend using this bag. And then now that this has all that dust in it, it's kind of hard to use this. Um, so that's kind of a little unfortunate, but it's a pretty minor thing. All, all, all things considered, you know, if you're any, any, anything like me, you've got a ton of either these lying around, right? Fidget HQ, they do some great stuff. Or, you know, you can pick up something like this, some of these Carver's Customs, so... Um, there's other people, the Sentinel, uh, Hanks and Pouches, uh, Joshua Clark over at Fidget Spot, he does his, um, what is it, Mama Hanks does them, so, um, I just got on the Carver's Customs bandwagon early on, and they've been good to me, so I kind of stick with them, um, the other, other pouches and stuff look good, in fact, I don't think I have one here with me, I got one that Josh sent me, um, that's nice, it's this little star pattern, which I appreciate. <sighs> But uh, yeah, so that's kind of a little unfortunate negative thing. But um, fidgeting wise, let's talk fidgeting with this thing. So um, that's what we're really here to see. We're only 13 minutes in. Um, this is a this is a remarkable fidgeter. So I've had this about four days. I've been using it every day. Um, and just the, again, the polish is part of what just wants to keep finding its way back to my hand. But it just fidgets so well because it's got that polish. You've heard me talk about it before. It's almost got like a sticky kind of tackiness to it. Um, so you can really get plenty of grip wherever you want to get it. Um, so if you're just getting it on kind of the top of the arm here, I can still get a good pull. If I get on the corner, even better pull. Um, it doesn't kind of swoop in quite as much to the middle. Um, but this almost needs it because there's so much weight. I couldn't really just push off the side without having that sort of dip in the middle. Um, but this one, because it does swoop out vertically as well, when my finger rides along the side, my finger's also coming in at a bit of an angle. So it's got something to catch there. So, whoosh. Um, what was it? Jib jab? Is that what we call it? Jib jab it. <sighs> Awkward fidget. Awkward fidget, if you, when I try to just do it like this impromptu, it's not as good, but if I've been practicing it a little bit. You can do it a little bit. 
uh, but it is a great fidgeter. Um, I'm not going to be doing a top 10 or top 20. I still have plans at some point, hopefully soon, um, to do a like permanent collection kind of a thing. It seems like spinners are trickling in just enough where I've got like one to record on the weekend and like my weekends are full with other stuff. Like I just built a bunk bed for my son last weekend. I might have mentioned that in my Atrium video. Um, and it's springtime, so now we got yard work and stuff to do. So, um, but I would like to do kind of a permanent collection and I can tell you this is in there. If I was doing a top 20, you guys know how even contentious the top 20 is. Um, I almost guarantee this would this would find its way in there. Um, it might even be potentially top 10. Like this is a fully endorsed, full on, like gotta get this spinner. This is this is right up there. So um, I'm a big fan of, of the Nautilus line. I like the big, heavy, ergonomic, smooth roundness of this guy. I think, you know, if you don't have any of these, it's worth probably picking up one of each. Um, now this, I don't know, I don't know what of the other Nautiluses are still in stock. And the stainless steel one, again, for me, the brush finish wasn't that great. I think you definitely want to at least stone wash it or hand polish it or, or, or buff it or something like that. Uh, if you do get it, and you might want to throw other buttons on it. And the bodies on these are actually kind of tall. It's hard to find buttons. These XL Kong buttons um, and, like, the, the larger Fidget HQ buttons seem to fit just fine. But a lot of other buttons don't actually fit on these because um, the body is pretty, um, pretty wide. So um, size comparison-wise, let's also do a stubby comparison. Look at them polished babies. Um, but I think this is a spinner that, that you need to have. Um, much like this was the peanut, I think uh, Ben started calling this uh, soap, and then someone on one of his threads commented and called it the travel soap. So yeah, this is like a super portable, the travel soap. Uh, a little bar travel soap, I'm down with that. I dig that. We can get behind that terminology here. So um, yeah, so uh, just to kind of recap here, internet, great design, great buttons great polish, very fidgetable, fantastic spin times, very fun, small, compact, portable little spinner, um, some drawbacks. Aesthetically, I think, you know, having the flats on here missed the mark a little bit, um, but it's still not enough. I think I would like it more with that, but it doesn't take away hardly anything from it. So, um, and then the pouch um, with its shedding is, you know, a bit of an issue, but nothing too crazy. So, um, yeah, we're, we're giving this two fully endorsed awkward thumbs up. I think everybody needs to run out and get this um, right now if you haven't already. I know I posted this on Facebook when I first got it, and it seemed like a few, guys, a few of you guys were smart and ran and jumped on it and ordered it right then. Uh, but this is one. Now, again, I did get sent this, so I don't want it to sound like, hey, uh, whatever you want to say. Uh, but this is, it is that good of a spinner. And the reality is, and I think I've mentioned this a few times as well, there's so many good quality spinners out there. It's still easy to have a channel and review spinner after spinner and have all of them get glowing endorsements. Most of you folks out there that know most of the spinners you've gotten, I bet you like, right? I bet you it's significantly reduced the number of spinners that aren't that great. Um, and the ones that aren't that great probably weren't spinners that other people were saying were great, right? It's not like you get a stubby and be like, ah, oh, I hated this thing. And like everybody's out there telling you they're good. No, they're good for a reason, right? Um, the atrium, right? And the arcade, right? They're good for a reason. People are saying they're good. And it's the, it's, I, I want to let you know it's it's the same with this for me. It's just like it's a buttery smoothness. It's oh, uh, balance wise is um, is dead on. Do you see any shake there? So if we do this little test, I don't think I've, I don't know if I've done this test yet. Yeah, just a little bit. You don't feel in the spin, right? I mentioned that in my last video. I almost don't like doing that spin test anymore, especially with a bearing this loose that spins this well, right? It's also going to be but we're kind of going in between the frame rate wants to try to warp the spinner. Look at that. But like smooth, baby butt smooth. I want my baby butt, baby butt, baby butt. So we're almost on 20 minutes. Let's have another sip of beer and give you some kisses. All right, internet, we out. Kisses.